Hello, Aternum, and welcome to KOTT News, Aternum's number one source for news. And this is the War Report. Dynamic change in the history of Aternum last night as all three offenses take down the flag and gain ground across the island. Regime wins out in Weaver's Fen, securing the island's oil supplies just in time for the third harshest winter in Aternum's history. Outcasts capture the fort down by the river and take control of the rain-drenched mountain region of Morningdale. And the kitchen staff of JDB cast out the outcasts in the battle in the bamboo to re-secure the resort destination of Evanscale Reach. Good thing too, as the first snowfall of the year hit the island in the middle of the night, signaling the start of the third harshest winter in Aternum's history. KOTT news crews, fortunate enough to be in Fortune's Crossing, so were met with a pleasant view over the city as Ebenscale Tourism Council begun this year's Winter Convergent Festival. The Ebenscale Tourism Council reminds you to come on by for the hot springs and pick up a care package to stay warm during this year's Winter Convergence Festival. Citizens are reminded that the wandering Yeti visiting the island comes in peace and has come bearing gifts so be sure to stop by and pick yours up daily. Also, our friend Mirgos needs our help yet again, and if you're willing to assist him, he'll be sure to give you something in exchange. Turning to the weather for today, and sudden snowfall aside, it's going to be a carefree day free of corruption. But the sudden cold snap signaled the corruption to strike, moving out and invading roughly 40% of the island later tonight. Four more roster submissions for simulated fantasy combat resolution tonight, brought to you by LARPCO. Remember, if it isn't LARPCO, it is cardboard. Tonight, the marauders of Pharma and Tillions attack the syndicate members of Fresh Bench for control of the bear infested deep forests of Brightwood. Pharma and Tillions return to try again after a week away involved with other engagements. But are they ready for another battle with the bears? Fresh Bench holding title over the woods by way of right of factional association to first purchase. But what matters the weak one accords to a group of marauders? Meanwhile, the covenant hero worshippers of the outcasts assail the syndicate members of JDB's kitchen for control of the master fishing delta of Reekwater. Outcasts entangled with another encounter with JDB while simultaneously fighting a second conflict elsewhere. But this is an offensive effort, so expect the fight of the night. JDB's kitchen staff, with no other distractions tonight, should be able to deliver on a battle-ready defense, filled entirely by the Syndicate's smartest strategists. Simultaneously, the Marauders of Dodgers version 2 assault the Covenant hero worshippers of the Outcasts for crown and kingdom of the Western Monarch's Bluff. Dodgers forces attempting to expand their land holdings to their neighboring region try once more to stretch themselves out after training in the mosh pit. On their flank, the Outcasts contend with an old foe from the past kicking off some dust. But will they field both fights or yield their claim on the monarchy? In the nightcap, the pineapple hating zealots of Waffle House Company assail the marauders of Dodgers V2 for control of the remnant supply of spice in the southern Cutlass Keys. Waffle House return to fight for the spice, or what's left of it. With old first light now gone, what little remains will be difficult to cultivate. But Dodgers version 2 have something to fight for too, like holding on to their ceremonial training mosh pits and keeping a marauder presence on the island. Be sure to tune in for complete coverage and reactions from the citizens tonight at 11. Until then, this has been War Correspondent John Chalant, KOTT News.